Welcome to the eighth tutorial on beginning HTML. We're going to continue on with images and specifically today we're going to cover resizing and sizing your images. So we'll use the same code that we did from the last video. And if you deleted that, I will open that up now and you can go ahead and hit the pause button and just uh, copy this. And we'll continue on now. So similar to the last video, make a folder called HTML source and put the image and the HTML file in the same folder. Now before we move on I want to make a couple points. First is you usually use JPEG for your best images. So if you have a beautiful landscape that you want to display you should use a JPEG image. But if it's something like a logo or some little artwork that you're doing you probably should use a, a PNG file or a GIF file. So that's kind of the general standard. And of course here I'm using a JPEG file because this is a nice wonderful photo of Washington DC. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the source now and I'm going to show you how to resize an image. But actually before we do that, let's open up this HTML document in IE and there you get an idea. That's just a huge image. So if this was a realistic website we were doing, we would want to actually change the size of this image and I will show you how to do that right now. So let's go ahead and reopen this up in Notepad. And between this angle bracket and the ending quote, we're going to go ahead and put in a parameter called width. And we're going to say that equals, and we have to put this in quotes too, 200. And that is pixels. So 200 pixels. And then we also have a height attribute. And so we will go ahead and make that 200 as well. And let's do a save. And let's reopen this. And you can see it's much smaller now. Now, that might be too small. We could increase that, you know, to 400, whatever. But you get the idea. Now, I want to point something out here to you. That resize that we just did is done within the browser. So let's imagine that I'm sitting at a remote computer here at some other location around the country. And this source is on the server. So this is being sent to my browser. The resize gets done on the user's browser. So what I'm saying there is the original image is sent in its full size. So if we take a look at this image, you'll see it's still a huge image. So that will get sent to this browser and then the browser will read that HTML document and resize the image. So the point I guess I'm trying to make here is that that's a lot of overhead for a huge image like that. So I guess I'm saying if you're making some minor adjustments to the image, you can go ahead and use that width and height attribute. But if it's an extremely large image, you may want to just reduce the image itself in one of the Photoshop editors. So if we went to, for instance, Microsoft Paint, we could go ahead and resize it right here and we wouldn't have to put the attributes in the HTML code. So that is how that works. Okay, I will see you guys in the next HTML video.